okay? This is the first things that I was reading 18 years ago as a student who really didn't know what was going on just yet. But that was the early days for me, and it still is today, and it always has been part of me. And that's what we're about with every patient at all times. We want to make sure that people understand that, and that's what we're working with is innate. Here's another one of his volumes, Chiropractic Clinical Control Research, 1951. There's about probably 15,000 cases altogether that he worked with and he has documentation on. Uh, and basically, there's one in here I just want to mention. I want, you to, I want you to understand the magnitude of this, okay? This is Dr. Colonel Allen. There's letters in here, there's signatures, there's even his readings of the nervous system like we talked about. And basically, I'm just going to read the summary. I was a practicing chiropractor holding the rank of captain in the Army Reserve Corps when I ordered to active duty in 1940. Soon after reporting for duty, I broke an ankle, entered an Army hospital where I soon developed a jaundiced condition and became seriously ill. I was given all the medical treatment that the Army offered and then operated on by the best surgeon in the Army's best hospital. Told that I had cancer of the liver and that nothing they had done for me had been of any value to me and that there was nothing more they could do. I was given up to die. I left the Army's best hospital and entered the world's best chiropractic clinic. I was given one and only one chiropractic adjustment by the world's greatest chiropractor, which corrected the cause of my illness. We're talking about cancer of the liver. Now I'm not telling you that chiropractic is a treatment for cancer. Okay? I'm just reading his summary, what he went through. <clears throat> my health returned, and I returned to the Army's best hospital, where I had to introduce myself to the surgeon who had given me up to die, and who is now Major General Norman T. Kirk, Surgeon General and Head of the Medical Corps of the U.S. Army. I was returned to duty, served my country through many months of combat, decorated with the American Bronze Star Medal for heroic achievement on the battlefield. Given the Combat Infantryman's Badge, promoted three times, relieved from duty as a Colonel of Infantry, and I'm again a practicing chiropractor. The adjustment I received on April 24th, 1941, put me through a war, as I had no other adjustment until September 1945. It not only put me through a war, it also returned me to the practice of chiropractic. <clears throat> 